Hello everyone, welcome to the training session of C Sharp 8.0. This is section 3 for learning methods, enumerations and exception handling while programming in C Sharp. This is the first video where we will discuss enumerations in C Sharp. In this session, you will learn what is an enumeration and why we should use this. How to create enumerations or enums in C Sharp how to parse strings to enumerations and we will see one example in c sharp while programming in many scenarios you have to deal with constants we can define constant variables for that but in some scenarios we may have set of constants for example we can have just 7 days sunday monday tuesday etc for these fixed set of values we can create an enumeration in C sharp. So, enumeration is nothing but set of fixed or constants. Enumeration is also a data type. It's a value type data type. And we can create enumerations with keyword enum. Within braces, you have to define constants separated by comma. So, here you can see we are defining enumeration directions. It has four values east, west, north, and south. By default, first item has value 0 and next has 1 and so on. So, in this case, east has value 0 and west has 1, north has 2, south has 3. We can override the default value also. For example, this is how we override it. Now, in this case, east has value 1. West will have the next member or west will have value 2, north will have 3 south will have 4. So basically each member of defined enumeration has a string representation and has a integer value. To access any enumeration member you have to put dot after enum name. For example in this case directions dot north is representing member north in the directions enumeration. You can convert or cast any enumeration and this will return its integer value. So in this case it will return 2. If we have to parse any string to its uh, enumeration representation we can use enum.tryparse method. Here we are using out keyword. You will understand this in the next video and also I will explain this in a code demonstration. Let's jump into Visual Studio and see enumerations in C Sharp. Let's launch Visual Studio and create console application project. Let's call, call it enums demo app. Click on create. So we can create enumeration with keyword enum. Type enum and press tab twice. Visual Studio has created default enumeration code snippet for you. You can rename this as directions. Let's define four members in it, east, west, north, south. So let's check what value this north member in enumeration direction has. So let's call north value. So as I said, you have to use key, uh, enumeration name and put dot. And you can select any member on it. So here you can see the Visual Studio IntelliSense is telling you directions dot north equal to 2. So north has value 2. You can cast it to integer. Let's print this. Enum directions dot north as value as north well. Let's run this using control F5. Enum directions dot north has value 2. If I mark it as 1, I am overriding its default value to 1. Now this north well should return 1, 2, 3. It should return 3. It's returning 3 now. Let's see one example how to parse enumeration, how to parse any string to enumeration. So first we have to create a variable of directions. 
see here we are uh, this enumeration also works as a data type it's a data type of value type so here i'm creating a variable of type directions direction let's call past direction don't assign it anything and you have to call enum dot pass you have to actually call try pass you can use parse method also but try parse is a better way to parsing anything a string value so a string value should match these four otherwise this will not parse so let's try west out you have to use keyword out and parsed direction so enum dot try parse will parse this string and the parsed member will be assigned to this variable let's convert this to integer and let's print this right let's run this parsed enum value has two east has one west should have two so this is this was passed correctly now this passed value has west and its value is two if you try to parse anything else for example let's type anything like abc this should not be parsed so this will not have any proper value in that case casting to it should return zero parse in a value zero the integer variable has default value zero so in scenarios where user has to enter a string and we want to convert this to enumeration we should use enum.tryparse and then we can create our logic if it was parsed properly or not by its value so wherever we have set of fixed values fixed constants we should use enumeration this is important when we are implementing and some business logic business rules using this if user is entering something else that our program should not accept we can create business rules using enums